The arrival of a new tractor. Finally, after four years of looking. Everyone, that is Chrislin. We're gonna head down and do a little shredding in my new tractor. You really gotta watch out for the deer. Well, here I am anticipating the arrival of a new tractor. I hope I didn't miss them. Stay tuned. Well, good afternoon. We got the Bud Man with Heart Tongue Family Farms. Shout out to Cole Ray. Cole Ray. So, back in Bellevue, we got the big surprise. Finally, after four years of looking, we finally got ourselves a tractor. New PC equipment. It's a T6 155. Just brought him home. My wife bought this for me for Father's Day. There she is over there in the car. It is a nice looking tractor. Got a good loader on it, brand new loader. The good thing about it is it actually, the bucket is the same size as the one that we got a T7. 190 I think a New Holland down in Preston same bucket same uh, loading unloading the bucket so they can interchange and switch so that's a good thing about it so yeah I drove it up just got it up here it's got the LED light system on it already so that's perfect we don't have to put that on actually brought the shredder up pulled that up so we can do some shredding back in the field there so nice looking tractor love it goes about 25 miles an hour so with a little luck tomorrow we'll talk about do some shredding so it's a good day it's june 1st a little windy up here i should say it's a lot windy up here it's got 24 hours on it right now so pretty happy with it as you can see you still got the little nubbins on here for the tires are brand new so with that being said up in beautiful jackson county you got the bud man we're actually building a couple sheds here too if you can see Deer sheds, uh, 12 by eight. We just cut it in half, spread it apart, put windows in it. And now we're gonna close this in with a door, a window, a door, a window. And we'll close this all in and we'll have two sheds. There's one of the doors there. Here's the other door here. So that's what we've been doing up here. But So I still only have 15 cows, 12 calves up here, like I said before. Hopefully here this week, tomorrow, Wednesday, we will get the rest of them up here. So the grass is growing. So with that being said, once again, you got the Bud Man from beautiful Jackson County. Any comments, concerns, write them down, put them in around and get them answered. Uh, so with that being said, ta-ta for now. Good afternoon everybody, you have the Bud Man here. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farm. The picture I was showing you there is actually the railroad tracks that go right through the middle of Bellevue, Iowa, right down 2nd Street. It's kind of unique, we're probably about the only city in the world that has one that goes right through the middle of the town. So anyway, today we are heading out to the farm to use our new PC equipment. I got the shredder on it. Brought the shredder up from Pat's farm down in Preston. And we're gonna shred a few things. So we're gonna show you how that works once we get out there. So I'm pretty excited to use it. First time using it on the field up here. So we'll see what happens when we get here. So with that being said, once again, you got the Bud Man from beautiful Jackson County, Iowa. It's about 85, 87 degrees. It's hot. I'm sweat. So, with that being said, we'll see you once we get to the farm. Not at the farm. We're actually at my house down in Davenport, Iowa. And I got a project up that I'm kind of midway through, and I was talking to my wife, and I was like, you know what? This would be a good YouTube video. So, here's what it's going to be about. We're making our own mini garden. My wife and I have always wanted to live in the country. Um, we've always, I've always wanted to have a garden, but I've never really had the opportunity. So, we bought this house because it's halfway in between the farm, my work, and her work. It's just, 
it was cheap at the time. You know, we were only 26, we're, it's our first house. We really couldn't afford something in the country. It, it just made sense for us at the time to buy this house. Um, at some point in the future, I'm hopeful we get to move to the country where we don't know, but for right now we gotta make do. So the farm is 45 minutes away and it makes no sense to actually have a garden. There's community gardens around, but uh, yeah, I just don't have time to look into them or we just haven't looked into them much. So I figured let's make do and let's make a garden in a lick tub, I guess. Before I left, grabbed some topsoil from back home, stuck them in these three tubs. So my thought behind all this is, Miracle Gold potting mix is expensive. It is, I mean, that's just, it's what it is. It's built towards consumers. This soil from back home is not, it's free. So, so here's my thought behind it. I have these lick tubs, which these were for our cattle. They come in filled with nutrients and they basically lick it and it takes a month for them to clean this off. But once it's done, there is no good, there is no value in these. And yes, I could have cut the top off, but I figured let's leave it tall. So that way, you know, rabbits and whatever, make it harder to get in there. So my thought behind it, because it's tall, I don't want to fill it all with soil because A, that's heavy and B, that's a lot of soil. So what I did is I had three bags of mulch just sitting around. So I lined the bottom with mulch and about the top eight inches are gonna be soil. And I'm gonna run an experiment because for those of you guys who don't know, I have a four year degree in mechanical engineering. I'm two thirds of the way through my master's in uh, business administration, so an MBA. And I like, to, I, like, I like to experiment, I like to play around with things. So what I'm gonna do is half of that with soil, half of that with pottery mix, half of that with soil, half of that with pottery mix. And we're gonna basically do an experiment, see if any of this stuff works. We have onions, we have peppers, we have uh, what all do we have? Peas and we have green beans. And maybe even get some fruits and ve some vegetables out of this. That'd be kind of cool. The uh, mulch was three bucks or two fifty a bag. So I got three of those. That was seven fifty. This miracle girl cubic foot of that was like seven fifty. And that's why I didn't want to get enough soil to fill all those all those uh, tubs because you know that would have cost four probably four bags worth. And that would have been like thirty bucks. No, not happening. All right, so now I'm gonna take this Miracle Go potting mix. I'm gonna disperse it on, because I have, I can always get more soil, but I cannot get more of that without paying money. So, and it's very windy right now, so I do apologize for that. So I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna put the potting mix fully in that, half in that, and the rest in uh, the little tub, just for our experiment. Like I said, I put all pottery mix in that, Half pottery mix in that, half pottery mix in that, and the rest will be dirt. And with the dirt, like I said, I got like a miracle Grow fertilizer, something powder that you put in water for like four bucks. So overall, I'll go through my costs and expenses with this. It probably won't pencil out to do this, but it's kind of fun. Especially when, if my wife would ever get off the phone, come out and help me. I'm not bitter. So let's go ahead and keep put, finish putting soil on. This one's all done. This one's pretty close. They're all, they're both pretty close. And I have another bucket full of a. Uh, soil in the car so i'll get that real quick basically get this all laid out and start to start to dry maybe mix it around you know the wet stuff stick in the sun hopefully we'll plant seeds this afternoon Alrighty, guys all done so the soil is prepared seed bed is prepared so like i said we got a lot of space here not really but it's not as much as the garden but hey it works for now so like i said here's our experiments we got going on half potting soil half regular soil all potting soil half potting soil all regular soil soil and soil but this one was just thrown in there this stuff was kind of packed and i tried to do a good job of like i broke up all the big clumps and i made a packed level seed bed so this would be a good experiment so let's go ahead and move them onto our deck or figure out where we're going to put these things that has ample sunlight and start planting like i said we got five different planters we're going to be doing these two will hang on the decks they're away from all animals maybe birds a little bit but i think this should be fine and then these three were actually gonna stick probably on the driveway. That way they get optimal sun. And they're pretty big. They're like two feet in diameter. Should be able to have quite a bit of seeds in there, but I need to go get my wife because I shouldn't plant without her because she's really excited about doing this. So I better go get her and then we're gonna mix some stuff up, put some seed in the ground, and then we're going to water it and put some fertilizer mixed in. But right now she's inside uh, getting uh, something to basically mark out what plant's gonna be where. And we're just, we got, like I said, onions, peppers, peas, and green beans try to figure out what we want to go where because they got directions on how far to how far apart to, to plant each one how much to put in a container or whatever onions are the green green beans are the sunflowers and we're basically just going to mark out and tape which plant is going to be where that way we know <laughs> so we 
put a row here and here and Chrislin's marking it with tape. Everyone, that is Chrislin. So this is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I think she is too. So what, what plant do you want to put on the other side of that? Pe peppers, onions, or beans? Which one are you most excited about? I don't know. I say beans. Beans it is. So for the peas, they were two inch rows, two inches apart, and two rows that are six inches apart. So we have two rows here. And then the onions, we basically just have a row quarter inch deep. And they, they just, it wasn't very good instructions. So we basically just layered a row right like that. So now we'll cover it up. Give it good seed to soil contact. It's basically means I'm pressing against it. Really firming it down. So again, this is our experiment. This pottery, pot it, what are we calling these, Crystal? I don't know. This planter is done. So this one's gonna be all green beans after a slight little mishap with the open container. <laughs> no harm, no foul. <laughs> Chris had accidentally dropped it. <laughs> and they gotta go a foot deep, so. No, an inch deep. Inch deep, not a foot deep. That might, not much would grow. So press, the, press it in. All right, this one is done full of green beans. So now we're gonna put chili peppers in this next one, or sweet peppers. All right, these are done. So for the peppers, you're supposed to only put one plant per foot container because it's a two foot container. In theory, you should be able to put four. Well, we decided why the heck not, so we put six. One in the center, and then imagine basically on the outside, we want one, two, three, four, all evenly, and we just put one in the middle just for an experiment. We're just all full of experiments. We're full of something, at least. So now we're gonna put peas and onions up here on the planter. Because it's not an experiment if we don't do some, the same thing all the way across. So I vote onions but we already and did peas. This one as an experiment. Uh -huh. oh, oh, that's true. So she's putting a thin layer of onions on that uh, planter. We'll see how it works. We're really experienced at this, in case you can't tell. Smile, Kristen. All right, the peas are planted. So now we're just gonna tap them down. She's gonna mark exactly where each one is. Tap them down. And then we're gonna go, she's got her first watering can, so then we're gonna go fill it up with a little fertilizer mix and then water. So we just filled up her watering can with uh, fertilizer. So this thing is a miracle Girl fertilizer. You put, you basically mix a thing in there every one to two weeks. So we're gonna start it out with. It's a lot of pressure. Oh gosh. Now what? Start watering. Our first time ever doing this, we didn't know how much to wa how much water was enough, so we just dumped it all in until it started flowing out the bottom. I think that's plenty. Probs. Well, it's we'll already it, there, so yeah. I didn't really. Yeah, we'll let it soak in, and then here's there's our urban farm. Kind of cool. I think I should water it, Ron. You don't want me to grow anymore. Alrighty, guys. So here's the finished product. Three planters and two other deck planters. So I'll, I'll keep you guys updated periodically with how things go, but cross the fingers, hopefully we'll have some produce here in the next three or four months. Okay, we're back at the farm here in Jackson County. We're gonna take this shredder up to my food plot. We're gonna shred that down and see what happens. So let's we'll see if we can get this bad boy going. Okay, you got the butt man back here again. Cruising down Bellevue Cascade Road with the shredder. We're gonna head down and do a little shredding in my new tractor. Rides pretty good. It's got air conditioning, which I need. Heat and air, that's what I wanted. Heat and air. It's got 25 hours now. I bought it with just 22 eight. So it's got full warranty, which is a good thing, till 22. Corn's looking good up here. Once we get down there, we'll put you back on. So we'll talk to you here a little bit. We're gonna turn in. This is what we call the big hollow. You remember back way back when we did, we backed our, brought our cows down this hollow, if you remember right. Seating's good. We reseeded this whole thing here. It was all tore up, if you remember right. So hopefully we get about a week or so of dry weather so we can come in and bale this. This hollow here and the other hollow, we usually get about, I don't know, 20 to 30 round bales off it. On July 1st, we'll let the cows come out here and then they'll start grazing this here stuff. So 
that's what we're doing. We're gonna go up this big hill. We actually seeded this with hand, our hand, a hand seeder. It looks pretty good. A couple spots are a little bare, but we could live with that. Sure, nice to have air conditioning, I'm gonna tell you that. Now we'll take this nice little ride up the hill. So we got about a quarter mile up this hill here, and we'll go do some shred. Looks like it could rain. Look, there's a chance of it, maybe 20%. We're now at about 50% tonight at 10 o'clock. Shane and I came up the other day, and we, uh, Walk along this fence line up here where I'll show you when we get up here. We walked along it so we could uh, clear the branches off so we could get through with the tractor here without scratching it up. I don't want to put the first scratch on it yet. So we're back up here. We're going to start shredding this here. We'll go all the way down here about 200 yards and there's a little three acre field up here I'm going to shred up. But the one thing we got to worry to watch out for is baby deer because they like to hang out real here and there and everywhere. So. But we'll see what happens here. Really got to watch out for the deer. But I do not want to run one over. So we'll go nice and slow. So I'm going to shut this off till I get down there so I can pay more attention to the ground so I don't hit a deer. So. Okay, we made it up in the field here. This is the field I'm going to put into a set aside. So we're going to cut this up. Here's my cornfield. There's 32 acres in there, I think. So, what this here is going to be beans all through here. I usually put my hut right in here after we get it picked. So, we'll see what happens. You really got to watch out for deer. And they like to hide their deer in here. They're little baby fawns. Sure is nice running this tractor in here, though. Corn's looking good. I like it. Don't like the prices. Hopefully the prices come back. Can't okay, make no money on $3 corn. Okay, we'll talk to you here a little bit. Hey, you got the butt band back. Here I am. Took me about 25 minutes to cut this down the way I want it. You see I didn't cut all the way down the tree line because I want that to be for a bumper for a runoff. That's what it's going to be. So now we'll come up and Put the roundup on it to kill the grass, disc it up, and plant it. So we'll be done here shortly. Going down the hill. Got that all done up there. Didn't run in to see any deer or nothing, so that's a good thing. Once again, if you got any comments, concerns, put them down. Ron, I get back with you. I'm going to head back up to the farm and put this bad girl away. Don't forget to push that subscribe button. Any likes, comments, go ahead and put them down. Once again, you got Bud Bannon, beautiful Jackson County, Iowa. Ta-ta for now.